With more and more states legalizing marijuana, some folks are touting a cannabis cousin as a possible cure-all. Lee Cowan has the story of a budding business. It looks like pot, can be vaped like pot, even eaten like pot. But pot, it is not. It's called CBD, short for cannabidiol, a buzzy chemical compound that's on a real market high. I've never done this, so you, do you suggest starting off with like a small bottle? Yeah. Just to sort of see how it goes? Yeah, you'll work your way up from there. CBD is extracted from hemp in the same plant family as marijuana. Had a pizza, pizza, pizza roll. But CBD won't have you microwaving pizza rolls at 2 in the morning because it contains very little THC, the stuff that gets you stoned. I'd like to talk to you about that music you're using. It's essentially weed without the high. And those who swear by it say it's helping everything from arthritis to insomnia, anxiety to depression, and maybe much more. It sounds like it's almost too good to be true. <laughs> yeah, and I think for some people it might be, but overall, people are finding at least some relief. It's at least taking the edge off, if not totally helping them out. At CBD Kratom in Chicago, sales associate Elijah Olson can barely keep the shelves stocked. It's monumentally overwhelming just how many products there are. Bethany Gomez has been using CBD for her chronic pain. Here we're seeing it in everything from taffies to gummies and caramels to coffee, pet treats, shampoos, bath bombs. Gomez also happens to be the managing director of the Brightfield Group, a market research company that has been tracking CBD sales. I have never seen an industry grow this quickly and I've never seen an industry with so much headwind. Last year, the U.S. market hit about $600 million. But Gomez forecasts that in as little as five years, it's likely to blossom nearly 40 times that, making CBD a $22 billion a year market. Over the past year, it's grown by more than 200%. Just in the last year? In the last year, and that was with the market being federally illegal until, <laughs> until December 20th when the Farm Bill passed. Yep, the Farm Bill. Hemp, once a common crop in the U.S., got lumped together with marijuana and banned back in 1937. But last year's farm bill lifted that ban. So as long as it has less than 0.3% THC and it's grown by licensed farmers, hemp is legal. You're all set. Hi, man. Hey, thank Thanks. you. But that doesn't mean CBD derived from it is, at least not entirely. According to the FDA, it's still against the law for CBD manufacturers to make any health-related claims about their products. And companies that add CBD to food and beverages do so knowing they're operating in legal murky waters. That's because large scientific studies on CBD are way behind its newfound popularity. Even what dose to take is in question. We're having people consume this compound in large quantities, and we don't know the full health impact. Yasmin Hurd is a professor at Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York, where she says CBD is showing promise, but a healthy dose of skepticism sure wouldn't hurt. It's not going to work for everyone. No drug works for everyone. The FDA has approved one CBD drug called Epidiolex that's now in use to treat seizures associated with certain forms of childhood epilepsy. Because we're getting close. And Hurd's own research suggests that CBD may also curb addictions to heroin and other dangerous opioids. So we really could be at a tipping point with the research anyway. The research to date gives us a big promise on which to build. Were you skeptical about it at first? Absolutely, 100%. Laura Fuentes is threading the needle between the scientific and the anecdotal evidence. I started making products way back and we gave them to friends and family and it started working. And I was like, this is, what? what's happening here? Like, it's working. The one-time pharmacist jumped into the CBD market with both feet, trusting that the research and the regulation will soon follow. So you must have a pretty strong faith in what this does for you to I do. give up your career to do this. I do. I have a really strong faith in it. You don't know exactly what the potential is. Yes. But you know there's some potential. There's great potential. Thank you for calling Green Roads. This is Emily. Her company, Green Roads, is now one of the largest CBD makers in the country, cornering about a 10% share of the CBD market. Its sales force is made up of mostly 20-somethings who feel like they're on the cutting edge of something big. I'm proud, I'm blessed, I'm grateful to say that we're at a 150% growth rate from quarter one 2018 to quarter one 2019. Give yourself a 
National chains like CVS and Walgreens have announced plans to carry CBD products in some of their stores. It's already in department stores like Neiman Marcus. So analysts say it's really only a matter of time before CBD is as mainstream as Coca-Cola. A drug, a supplement, a fad? CBD may just be all three.